77 centimeters tall from Gumpang Pet Province. He has a total of 83 fights, 63 victories, 18 losses, and two draws. You see Chibari there straight away. You can see that he's got a lot more experience to his name with 83 fights as opposed to Ersan's 50. Now this is meant to be a warm-up fight though for Chibari, but if he does get knocked out, yes. we will have to reschedule the finals of the Thai Fight League 63 Kilo Tournament. Which is scheduled for Lopari, by the way. Indeed. Of course, Chaibari. Tearing through the opposition here on Thai Fight League since its inception. In making a name for himself. In his last fight, though, on the big Thai Fight show against foreign opposition. And speaking of making a name for themselves, Isan trying to knock Chaibari out pretty early here. Good yeah. right hand there from Isan. And again. Yeah, he took it to the judges scorecards on the big tie fight show. So against foreign opposition, maybe not as effective. You never know. Exactly. And we're not used to seeing Isan compete. So he might for a surprise, just like we saw last week. Oh, good right kick to the body. But again, Isan str looking strong. Left and right hands being thrown at will. Yeah, let's not forget. Tiberi's opponent for the finals last week was knocked out in the very first round. That's right. Against an Iranian, I want to say. Or maybe a Moroccan. It was a Moroccan. <laughs> yeah. Right low kick there by Tiberi. A Moroccan training out of Yusuf's gym. So ah, there you go. That's how I remember that one. Good right kick there. Yes. Better by Tiberi. Oh, good combination. To the body and to the head. Tiberi says bring it. As Ersan did. Through a left hook. Tempted flying knee there by Chaibari. We've actually seen a knockout. That was a better right hand there from Esan. Actually knocked the head back of Chaibari. Good uppercut there from Esan. He's in tremendous shape, has to be said. Yeah, he really is. But being pushed back at the moment by Chaibari. But Chaibari nonetheless has to be wary about the hands from Esan because it's has seemed to have hurt Chaibri early on already. That was a good low kick from Chaibri and I think that hurt him. Oh, good elbow there! Almost knocking him out of the ring. Yeah, thank goodness we got ropes. Good teeth there from Chaibri. Equally good job though by the Iranian. Sets it right hand again. Chaibri moves forward, delivers a good knee to the midsection. Don't think Esan was expecting the knee to come on the end of that combination. Kabarabe had his head a bit too low. Oh, Chaibri looking for an elbow there within the clinch as he teeps the midsection once again, then goes back low. Good one too, though, from Esan. This is a great fight. Right think, hand there from Esan. I think Chaibri has just found his groove, and that's why he's yes. moving forward at will and attacking at every given moment. Esan game, though. Swinging right hand once again. As Chaibri goes back. Oh, good right hand by Chaibri. I'm not sure why Esan went down, just a slip, perhaps. Gonna just be a knockdown on Chai Bree. Stay with us for round two. Great fight. Let's see the highlights from the first round. Chai Bree taking on Isan from Iran. It was back and forth action to begin with. I mean, Isan did have his moments with the punching combinations, but then eventually Chaibari found his groove and continuously pushed forward through some elbows, through some knees. I'd have to go back to look at the, uh, the group stage action, but I honestly think that this is the, uh, the biggest fight that we've seen so far uh, by Chaibari. There, just a slip, I guess. Yeah, just lost his footing. Not ruled the knockdown. I guess he was stunned. Put your phone away. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's watching Thai Fight International. Most, most likely. The commentary. Left high kick there. Go there, son. And you see the powerful shots coming in from both fighters. The low kicks of Chaibri seems to have a huge oh, effect on Isan. Yeah, that hurt him. Especially that left, that right kick there to the left leg of Ersan. Yeah, and again. Yeah, yeah. And again. There definitely is a problem with that lead leg of Ersan. But Ersan's going in with good left and right hands. Chaibri in a bit of bother here. 
Could Big you two or three of them connected flush, Kevin. Could you imagine how crazy oh, it would be? Oh, the right hand! If it's an elbow! Stops Chai Bari. Anything can happen in Kai Chuk, and it does often. And it's looking that way right now. What makes this art form of Muay Thai? Oh, that lead leg. In the form of Kai just so excited. Good hands again, and elbows coming in as he ducks under. Attempted leg kick there by Chai Bari, he's going back, he's chopping down that leg, or as they say in Thai. Punching the tire. Indeed. I mean, go back to what you just said just now. He ducked beneath the low kick. <laughs> <laughs> Something I don't think I've ever heard on commentary in my life. Quite superb though. There you can see the commentary team, sorry, the commentary team, the cameraman knowing they're having problems with that leg. Oh, the reddening oh. on that one leg. Surely it can't go on for much longer. And again. Swinging left and right here from Ursan. Oh! He's struggling. He's saying it's time to get up. Struggling to be vertical right now. Quite lucky he didn't get the count there. Here come those hands though from Ursan. They just don't have that pop like they did in the first round because of that leg. Where all the power generates from. From the ground upwards. I have to say it, Chai Buri looks tired. But now he's moving forward, looking for a war against Ersan. Ersan's a warrior, he's not giving up here. Oh, a fantastic fighter. Really want to see him back here on Thai Fight League again. Great heart being shown here from a man on one leg, essentially. And Chai Bari is finding that leg kick. He should be throwing more if I'm being honest, if I'm being brutally honest. Good evasion yes. there from Ersan. One of the few evasions we've seen. Good kick once again for Chai Bri as he continuously moves forward and attacks the leg. Yeah, again. The will's there, the heart's there. He just can't stay upright. You've got to applaud Usman for his heart. Absolutely. He's displaying oh. such a phenomenal warrior spirit. End of round number two. What a fight. Stay with us. Round number three coming up next. Let's take a look at some of the replays from that action-packed second round. And Isan came in with heavy hands to begin with. But then Chaiburi, he found his target and that was the lead leg. And he attacked it. He attacked really well. He did. I saw one of the comments online actually saying that perhaps he should now try to go for the head after a few low kicks. And I think they may be right. Yeah, definitely. It'd be a good tactic to employ. There's a good counter elbow from Chai Bari. The only thing I would say about that though is his leg is about two shots away from going completely where the referee might have to stop the fight. Are we doing this bet again? <laughs> Are we doing this bet again? The thing is though with Ersan, the heart that he's shown, I think like he could stand up or he would be happy to fight on one leg anyway. I'll go for six. <laughs> All right, six is on the count. How about you? All right, they don't go for. All right, let's <laughs> let's have a look. But just the heart that Isan has showed has been incredible. Here we go, round number three. Oh, left high kick, right hand there from Isan. Oh my goodness! And Isan oh trying to goodness. knock Tyburi out. What a flurry that was by Isan. <laughs> yeah, but now Tyburi seems like a man possessed. I mean, this is his stage, this is his stadium. There's one. That's two. Is that two? That is two. Three! That is three. Oh, come on! That is four! Oh, but he gets heart. countered! Was that not a knockdown? It didn't seem to be, I'm not sure. Maybe he just lost his balance and the referee did not decide to count that. Elbow within the clinch there from Chai Bari. And that is five. The referee taking a big look at this one. Oh, good right hand there. Left and right from Ersan. Deep to that leg. That was number six, Kevin. No, it, it did not count as a low kick. That was a deep to the leg. But Ersan now taking his time to get onto his feet. Oh, oh my goodness. What a right hand. Chibari is down. The eyes are glazed over. 
desperate trying to get back to his feet. He was hesitant about throwing the low kick. And the gap opened up. And my goodness, did Ersan take it? And the referee lets the fight goes on. I don't think Chai Bree knows where he is at the moment. Oh my goodness, Chai Bari. Chai Bari going taking in for the kill. I don't think he knows where he is. And the referee separates them, but Chai Bari, he is on borrowed time at the he moment. Is, oh, and that, that is it! it. That it's is all it! Over! Oh my goodness, Isan Koshivan has stopped Chai Bari in the third round. I did not see that coming whatsoever. We see. Time and time again, expect the unexpected here on Thai Fight League. And once again, we've just seen a massive upset. Fight League tournament, who's been knocking fighters out left, right and centre, has just been felled by a beautiful right hand. Let's have a look at it again. There it is, right on the money. And ladies and gentlemen, we do have a stretcher. <laughs> I believe that our tournament final may have to be rescheduled now, Aaron. Unbelievable. But of course, wait for the official word. But that was phenomenal from Isan. I mean... And there was that flying elbow to finish it off. We both thought that Isan was done. He did. To be fair, we... The winner by technical knockout, white corner, Esad from Iran!